What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and today is supposed to be the release of Tiny Metal. This is a turn-based RPG, kind of like Advanced Wars, except 3D and a lot more hardcore. I was kind of excited for this. Not just a bunch, but it looked like something to be fun to play. So this morning I woke up and I kept hitting refresh on the store, hoping it'd pop up because it's supposed to be coming out any minute. When it just didn't, I decided to do some Googling and it turns out that it's been delayed for a full month. Well, how does a game get delayed on release day? Well, it turns out it's because there's a giant war among developers. The people who are making this are currently in an internal battle over stolen money. Now, I'm about to have to unravel a little bit of a story here for you, so sit back and relax. This game is actually being made with stolen money. Now where that money came from is actually a Kickstarter called Project Phoenix. This is a big thing that was supposed to be a classic return to form of RPGs to make something like old school Final Fantasy and uh, Dragon Warrior, the stuff we're used to seeing most. It was really, really talked about, and apparently it got a bunch of really big names from classic RPGs on board. The community that surrounds this kind of game was extremely hyped for it, which means that it got over a million dollars before they hit their deadline. This is a crazy amount of cash, and clearly people were excited for it. There's just one issue. This Kickstarter happened in 2013, and they promised it would come out within the year. Well, 2014 rolled around and they said it wasn't ready, so they delayed it an additional three years. Well, here we are in 2015 or 2017 and we still don't have the game. Now, the reason why that is, is according to these leaked rumors, well, it's because the money's all been stolen. Apparently, what happened was, the director of this is the guy who led that Kickstarter and his business partner. Apparently, as soon as they got that Kickstarter money, he came to him and went, Okay, it was a giant lie. I don't even want to make that game. We're going to be making Tiny Metal instead. So what we're going to do is close that entire company down, take the money, and start a new company completely to make Tiny Metal. We're going to hire new employees, new PR people, uh, copyright all of this, and make a totally legal game with illegal money. Because this is stealing. I'm sorry, that's a word. It's called embezzlement. Now, what's really crazy about this is all along, the guy who is directing Tiny Metal is still making fake updates on the freaking uh, Kickstarter page that he made originally. He keeps just being like, Oh yeah, guys, it's it's coming along nicely. Don't worry about it. I pinky promise that this game is coming along really good. A wink. Well, here we are several years later. No game, nothing to really show for it except for Tiny Metal, a different project by the same people. Now, what's really weird about all this is the fact that it just shows how much you can't trust crowdfunding anymore. The people who are behind this can sometimes be really, really dedicated, really, really passionate, really, really talented people that we know and love and still do the wrong thing. This guy, if these rumors are true, totally stole millions of dollars to make a game that, while looking cool, isn't at all what people paid for. When you're putting money into a Kickstarter, you're basically buying a promise. You want these people to make the game you're asking for. They said that it would be this classic RPG with swords and sorcery, and instead, we're getting tanks and laser rifles. That is not what people paid for. You ripped them off, and very realistically, they are about to go to court. Right now, the journalist Jason Schreier has been digging into this like crazy, and he's getting all these official statements that it's just so crazy. Clearly, they're literally getting lawyers together right now for a giant legal battle, which means that maybe Tiny Metal at this point might not even come out, which is weird because they stole a million dollars from it. Now, things are about to get a lot worse because of one giant twist. This game was going to be the first project made by Sony's new music-based game studio. Remember, Sony Music is going to start publishing games on other platforms than just the PS4. This was their debut project, the first Sony-branded game coming out on the Switch. 
And now it might just be a giant dumpster fire. I will never give money to a freaking crowdfunded thing ever again. Personally, I just don't like Kickstarters. This stuff happens so freaking much that it's just so crazy. At this point, if I'm actually trying to back a Kickstarter, I might as well be buying a lottery ticket and going, gee, I sure hope this game comes out, because you're basically just wishing for a product that likely will never exist. But I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think that it's just insane that a freaking company stole maybe a million dollars in order to make a game that's totally different without anybody's permission? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below and sound off. Tell me what you think is the worst failed Kickstarter of all time. I really want to know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. I, I actually filmed another rant today that will probably be out in a bit. So if you see two rants in a row at some point where I'm wearing this shirt, I promise I'm not a slob. I change my shirt every day. But this is totally my favorite shirt. Look at this. Oh, hey. I was just playing a little bit of Grand Theft Auto on my Darth Vader PSP. Are you curious what I'm going to come out with next? Well, if you click this button, you'll be subscribed to be the first to know. Also, if you click over here and here, you can see my latest review and my latest top 10. I promise it was super good. Or it was really bad and I'm sure you can just make fun of me in the comments. Either way, it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.